because I've had some questions and comments recently from some I want to see this bad boy get to work you know something about a thousand pound hay bale you got a boom above you everyone get this gate shut in there hey guys Dusty Baker across Summers Bison welcome back to the channel I'm gonna put some hay out today um, for both herds but I'm gonna do something a little different I'm gonna kind of break down some things and talk to you about um, putting out hay with the skid steer the challenges you kind of go through uh, just putting out hay and that's just what goes on in the winter pretty much everywhere at least in the south that's doing that right now. So one of the things I'm just doing here this morning is I just shut this gate. And uh, if you've watched one of my recent videos, I've talked about bringing over some uh, cows uh, from mom and Kevin's at the Dunbar herd that have already started the weaning process with their calves. Their calves are actually here getting ready to bring over some cows. Foundation herd where I first started raising bison, some of those original ones. So what I'm doing is locking the yearlings out. What I'm going to allow pretty soon is if I bring those three over here, they've kind of got to get acclimated to the place. And so I've got to lock them up near the barn when they do come over. I'm going to let Big Joe and them come up, get the smells and all that, and let them get used to each other before I actually let those cows out. By the way, 54 is on the right side of the fence today. You could be a problem in the future. I hope you're not teaching all the others how to do this. Yeah. And there's Big Joe. Alright, we're going to go get the skids here. See you guys in a little bit. Stay brown. All right, so I know this is something that you guys have been seeing me do a lot of right now, and that's just that time of the year. It's, it's winter, you're feeding hay. One of the reasons I wanted to make this video specifically uh, about this is because I've had some questions and comments recently from some awesome followers uh, about, you know, on the skid steer, why do you cut the wrap off when it's on the ground? Why don't you cut the wrap off when it's high in the air? And when you got it lifted, why don't you cut the wrap off of it then? Well, here's one of the answers to that is you can't get out of the skid steer. That's one of the problems. So right here, this is the boom, the hydraulic lift. When it raises up, it lifts this up. And so you can't get out of the door. That's one of the reasons why I can't do that. Well...
Now there is a feature where you can raise this thing all the way up. And this is where some people say, don't do this. And there's people that have been injured in the past with maybe some older material, maybe some newer equipment. Um, this is a, a 2021 model, so it's not very old, but there's a feature inside of this skid steer where there's a, you can lift up the boom to a certain height where you can get out and the hydraulics will sit there on that level, on that height. And there's a switch, it's an actual safety lever that you can lock the hydraulic boom lift and have it set where just in case the hydraulics do fail, they won't fall because of you did the safety latch on the inside. So that's something that I use. I don't use it that often. It's just, you know, something about a thousand pound hay bale. You got a boom above you. You know, I've heard a lot of old farmers tales and my grandpa, uh, you know, farm almost his entire life and my dad. Um, and I've heard all these horror stories. And so it's just something about getting under a bale of hay, getting under, um, you know, a front end loader, basically the front end of a piece of uh, equipment. And sometimes I've had to do that um, with that safety lever on, but it, I just really don't like to do it, to be honest with you. So what that means is, is I have to basically set the bale of hay down, scoop back, get out, cut the wrap off, pull the wrap off of it as much as I can. The weight of the hay bale is still setting on that wrap. So basically what I have to do at that point, you see me get my uh, 10 second workout for the day, driving my legs through, right? Through that bale of hay, push that hay bale to get it off the wrap. And then I, and then I pick up the wrap and throw it on my skid steer and I tuck it basically right in here behind the attachment and then i'll throw it away in the barn later uh, so right now what we've had to do is we're actually putting out a, a bell of hay probably every two or three days now especially for this herd there's 22 in this group there's only nine in the big joe herd so uh this is more effective and i've talked to you about why we kind of roll it out and all that so i don't know if you guys noticed or not my brother-in-law daniel at arms family homestead he got a new skid steer almost just like mine um, his is a 337, I believe, and uh, it's actually the same size of skid steer as mine. Same cab, has the same look to it, same size of everything. The only difference is his it has more weight on the back end of his, and uh, which gives it a little bit more lifting capacity in the front. So uh, this thing's made a huge difference out here on this property. go uh, get the big joe herd a bale of hay um real quick i'm taking the skid steer actually to our cabins to do some work so um that's why i'm kind of putting out hay now because i'm going to have it over there for a couple of days i'm going to show you how and some of the problems we go that i go through just going through a gate not only am i dealing with they're anxious and ready to get some hay they're you know they hear the gate they maybe think they're moving pastures besides dealing with all of that I got a bale of hay on here. I've got to put the bale of hay down, get out, open the gate, and try to get through there before they get through it because sometimes that happens. Let's go see the big Joe herd. Yeah. 
you know, like with the skid steer and, and you've got that bell of hay, you've got to set it down. You've got to back up so you can climb out of the skid steer. You have to unlock the gate, then leave the gate sitting there and you hope that it just doesn't swing open. Get back in your skid steer. Then you've got to hook back up to the bell of hay. Then you got to push the bell of hay to open the gate. And then you hope it, you got to hit it just right because if you hit that gate too hard, it'll fly wide open and then the bison will run through it. So you have to barely push that gate to get through there. And then when you get through, you've got to set the bell of hay down again, back up so you can climb out of the skid steer uh, because the boom will cover it up. The boom covers up the door. So that's why I have to set the bell of hay down, back up so I can get out and then I run and shut the gate as soon as I can. Betty, you waiting in line? No patience? You're that person in line, aren't you? Just crowded. Turn will be next, Betty. You have to wait. You can lay your egg later, Betty. Be nice. We'll go crowd the person in front of you. All right. Got the skid steer loaded. Got uh, two attachments with this skid steer. I got a tree puller right here from Precision Manufacturing and I have the grapple rake, this huge thing from Precision Manufacturing as well. I'm gonna take this over to the cabins. If you guys are just not joining us and didn't know, we have 10 rental cabins um, located in Sulphur, Oklahoma, um, about oh, 10 or 15 minutes from the Ponderosa here. Um, my wife and I have had that for about three or four years now. so. Um, I gotta do some cleaning up over there, uh, doing some cedar removal and some, some brush. But um, as you guys could see, um, some of the issues just with the skid steer, I love using that skid steer and it makes a huge difference here on, on the property. Um, but you can see just when you put out hay and you're dealing with animals, um, you know, these guys, when they hear a gate, they know there's something going on. One, they know I'm bringing them something, or two, um, they're gonna be rotated. So they get excited, and uh, if they see bell of hay, they know what's going on, but you know, when, uh, that's why I put out a bell of hay to the yearlings up in to the front, which they're over here, you can see them up in the front along the road so people can see them. And then it occupies them, and then I take a bell of hay to the big Joe herd, but sometimes it doesn't always work out that way if you can't get their attention. It's kind of a, it's kind of one of those things. It's just, we got this awesome, nice, compact tractor basically, and uh, it's super handy, but there's just things like that that you have to deal with. Uh, when you're when you're trying to put out hay and working around these animals. All right, guys. Hey, check this out. So, I'm over here on the uh, kind of the back side of our property. You guys haven't seen this very much. So, right back here behind me is our hay meta. But uh, something exciting. I kind of mentioned this to you a couple weeks ago but I wanted to show you kind of the something that has began. Take a look at this big old boy right here, yep. So my neighbor Richard, he got him a dozer and uh, Richard is a great neighbor that I mention all the time, lets me borrow his hay trailer and all sorts of implements and, and uh, he builds our fence for us, he cuts our hay for us, he's an awesome neighbor, awesome person, but he's got him a, a little bit bigger toy now and um, I'm having him push this fence line. Um, you can't see it right now. You can kind of see a clearing right here. There's an old fence line that ran through here. He came through and he ripped out some of the fence. I had ripped out a little bit, but there were still some left um, growing in all these uh, smaller trees. Well, I just had him come through here and he is in the beginning process of pushing um, this old fence line. And uh, 
we've got some big cedar trees right back here behind me some big hardwoods uh going up that are gonna be coming down some of it a lot of it cedar trees a lot of them are the hackberry and the elms that uh, we don't really care about and we don't need here necessarily we're keeping all the pecans and we'll keep the uh, post oaks i like to keep those very excited uh, to show you guys this and excited to see the changes and so what will happen is uh so this is our hay meta and then right over here behind me on this side where my truck is is where the burn unit is so we've got burn unit over here and we've got the hay meta over here so once we get a fence that cuts through here We'll be very close to let the bison out on the burn unit. Very fun and exciting uh, project going on. Um, and so once he gets all this cleared, the fence will go up and stuff. So we'll keep you updated on everything. And I'll keep showing you guys updates on this as uh, we go along. And um, eventually I'm going to get my skid steer out here. I'll probably help him clean a bunch of this up and whatnot. So I want to see this bad boy get to work. I hadn't got to see him yet, but I'm excited to see him get to work on it. So... Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you understand a little bit more of kind of why I do some things and how I put out hay with the skid steer. The skid steer is awesome and it uh, makes a huge difference on a farm ranch. It's very, very useful, but I also have to be very safe of what I do. So that is something that I kind of focus and focus on. I hope you guys uh, kind of get a little uh, view of what I go through um you know every other day right now in the winter time putting out hay and stuff so hope you enjoyed today's video guys we're gonna keep on ranching see you soon